Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, since we still don't know the release date for Terraria 1.4, since the devs, you know, they're not giving us much to work with. They're just telling us it's coming this year. There wasn't even a spoiler last month. So, you know, it could be right around the corner, but since we still don't know anything, I'm going out of my way with the use of mods. We're going to be creating our own 1.4. So that's what we're gonna be doing. You know, I got a bunch of mods installed and there's even more mods on the mod browser itself where we can add even more mods to our own version of 1.4 but that's what we're gonna do today let's get right to it now using our knowledge of what's gonna be in 1.4 let's start off with that okay we know there's gonna be a lot of quality of life things we know that there's gonna be new monsters there's gonna be a new boss lots of items lots of vanity there's a master mode which may be wondering like how, how are you gonna replicate master mode all very simple it's because Terraria mod developers already made a master mode because master mode is not that big of a difference other than you know adding in a couple special vanities and just giving bosses and monsters more health so there you go there, there's master mode just like that but yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna watch the um i'm gonna watch the trailer again you know just get get some knowledge i haven't seen the trailer in a minute but get some knowledge in and then after that we're just gonna start enabling a bunch of mods and then i'm gonna talk about all the mods we're gonna enable and we'll see what will happen from there all right so from watching the trailer again i noticed that there is a lot of just things to mess around with you know i noticed more things to mess around with more gimmick more gimmicky things than there were like like actual useful things but all the useful things are all sprinkled in there you know they're all hidden but there was paper airplanes we're talking about golfing we're talking about kites you know stuff like that where one of the main things i saw and another main thing i saw was more mounts as in mine carts but uh you know we, we can solve that mount problem fairly easily i don't know if there's any mods directly that add in more mine carts per se Th there's the mine car challenge just completely different thing but what i did see is that there was a uh, horse mount mod that came out right here simple horses now it says simple horses adds a couple of new horse mounts into terraria the primary goal of this mod is to allow the player more early game movement options though it expands into hard mode as well so we're gonna grab this and this will sort of be our uh, minecart replacement because there isn't too many mods that add in minecarts in general uh, i know one mod that adds in a minecart for sure and that is thorium thorium obviously is going to be a part of this making 1.4 mod pack honestly if i enabled enabled like two content mods for this 1.4 mod pack that's already more content than 1.4 that's just because you know content mods are gigantic and we got to give it up to mod developers for the hard work they put in and add to this world you know especially since there was no update for the last couple of years you know the mod developers have been filling the void of no new content but yeah before we just hop into a bunch of just content mods i think we should probably go through and enable a bunch of uh quality of life mods all right but yeah quality of life let's see here one thing we're gonna add in right here is the wing slot mod now this mod adds in a slot for wings don't know vanilla terraria is ever going to do anything like that but there you go we got that added another mod we're going to enable here is the solutions mod you know allows you to craft a bunch of new solutions and stuff the max stack plus thing i think this may be a feature coming up in 1.4 higher stacks i'm not sure and then we got a storage mod right here magic storage a great mod auto trash allows you to automatically trash things you don't want asphalt platforms which i think should be a thing in terraria we got boxinator which allows us to create you know box houses at the click of a button obviously cost materials but still very easy if you want to do it that way and now here is a feature that legitimately was visible in the 1.4 trailer and that is boss health bars of course we're going to enable this this should have been a thing that's been in terraria since like day one we're going to enable imk sushi because this allows the crafting recipe for a lot of things louis afk is just an overall good quality of life mod shop expander you know does what it says expand shops simple auto chests simple auto chest vein miner no i don't think terraria vanilla terraria is ever gonna have vein miner but it is very useful to have wireless another useful thing which mod is this from you know most of these mods they're fairly self-explainable we're gonna add an improved pillar event you know is a very good mod to have in another good mod right here boss checklist and of course let's enable master mode but there you go that should be our first set of mods we're gonna be enabling here mostly quality of life and uh stuff you know i directly notice out of the trailer but let's let's move on to you know the bigger content stuff so so in terms of just you know vanilla terraria content we have a mod here called consolaria consolaria bro come on it adds in content from old versions of either mobile console legacy versions the 3ds we gotta enable this because this thing is, a, is an amazing mod you know speak about more mounts we got this bulldozer mount right here which is a mount that allows you to destroy stuff with a bulldozer very neat mod next up we're gonna add in some decoration mods here we got this furniture food and fun we'll enable that builder plus adds in more blocks and stuff chad's furniture a great mod for decoration you know i looked up some more decoration 
decoration mods here we got deco plus let's go ahead let's download that now that we got furniture out of the way since there was a lot of furniture spoilers for 1.4 i think we should get some npcs out of the way because for sure there's gonna be new npcs i'm pretty sure for one of the spoilers that they released there was a new npc confirmed in it and i think it was a golfing npc i'm not actually sure about that but yeah we got a bunch of npc mods here i like this one a lot denu's mini boss npc makes it very useful for summoning in certain mini bosses and bosses another good mod here alchemist npc you can either add in the full version which adds in a lot more than just an alchemist npc and adds in a bunch of more content or you can add the light version we're gonna go with the light version i prefer the light version over the regular one we're gonna add in the fargo's mutant mod and the fargo soul mod these two mods add in a lot of good content and also adds in more npcs that sell stuff for bosses and mini bosses but honestly in terms of npcs that should be good there's a bunch of other options like coro and crim they sell stuff for both the corruption and crimson alpha npcs i'm pretty sure they help with a bunch of stuff too but you know the ones i usually play with are the news and fargos and then you know a bunch of other content mods like thorium and stuff add in more npcs but speak about content mods this is where we're about to go in right here this is where the main meat of this 1.4 mod pack is going to come in from so let us go ahead and enable thorium we're not going to be enabling calamity i see calamity more of as a complete overhaul of terraria rather than an addition we're going to enable the juice mod one of my favorite mods we're going to also be enabling world bits you use microstructures a great mod to add in a bunch of new structures everywhere you know whether it's like caves or outcoves or picnic areas or graveyards you know this adds in a bunch of just nice little structures everywhere just like 1.4 is gonna have because 1.4 has a lot of new mini bimes and stuff like that and then we're also gonna be enabling various weathers now i don't think terraria 1.4 is gonna have any new crazy weather events like various weathers you no know, various weathers has a lot of cool weather events but we're gonna be enabling it either way because it's just a really great mod one of the mods that we're also gonna be adding here is the bismuth mod this is a great mod I haven't played it personally i just know it's a really good mod so we're gonna be adding it to our list of content mods and the last big content mod i'm gonna be adding in is g realm you know this is a classic mod updated to the current version of team mod loader just like thorium honestly thorium is another mod from back in the day but yeah we're gonna be adding g realm to this mod pack make sure when you add in g realm that you also have base mod enabled slash installed because that is required to run g realm all right so here we are we loaded into our world and as we can see this is a little different i believe all this stuff is from the bismuth mod and uh you know we got we got a little dude over here my name ballin he's balling on him he's over here doing his little smithing we come even more over here why can i like barely move right now is it because of the wind i think it's because of the wind from the various weathers mod we got a nice tree that tree kind of broken my boy right here farham but yeah, as we can see there's a bunch of npcs just chilling here all thanks to the business business mod and some of them had quests and stuff but let's take a look here via the cheat sheet menu just how many items we have if we scroll down just like a good thousands of items i don't know that it might be more or less than that and if we open up cheat sheet here we got a bunch of bosses here a lot more bosses of vanilla terraria obviously i think there's only what 13 bosses in vanilla terraria that's just a random guess i'm not sure at all we got these engravings thrower engraving ranger engraving assassin engraving warrior and wizard and it says use this to choose your class very very nice but yeah i guess we're gonna go to the right since there's wind blowing to the left i think the wind just went away as soon as i started going to the right what the hell but yeah let's make our way to the right just explore the overworld a little bit now the thing is i don't know oh this definitely looks like bismuth stuff there's gonna be a bunch of random structures like this from not only bismuth but from you know the mod specifically we added in four random structures nice we got a little g we could put on here is that how you pronounce it sure nobody's here to tell me otherwise you know let's put on this flower collar in loving memory of stormy hello stormy look at stormy we got stormy the dog just chilling we got a lot of slimes around us i gotta be careful because we do have master mode installed in, and i don't know if these things are gonna beat my ass or what i'm kind of getting my ass beat hello are you a bad guy or a good guy oh he's a dead guy that's what he is there's a chest in here i can't loot this chest though interesting interesting see this kind of makes me want to just start playing like legit but we'll save that for another time terraria playthrough coming soon maybe i don't know i do have an idea for a terraria playthrough that i want to do that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say much that's all i'm gonna say but yeah let's keep on going to the right see if we find any other stuff we got our little uh corruption coming up here i'm saying little like i actually know the size of it i don't know we're about to see god damn it i blame the wind i don't know if the wind's actually blowing us i don't think it is what is that vile oh he's gone we got another new creature the innocent oh 
shit he low-key almost got where i was going all right let's keep on going to the right oh here we go we got our first micro structure not really because the last one was our first one but let's check it out what kind of goodies wand of hexing okay so it is a micro structure is that what it's called yeah micro structure but we should just call it random structure but we got this wand of hexing inflicts cursed inferno that's actually pretty good this is probably just like a wand of uh sparking does it have a chance to oh, it's a light 133 damage okay we are here to the left we got another little structure what is that it says tribe curse ancient magic absorbs you from the inside is that a good thing or a bad thing <gasps> my boy papuhan pop papuhan are you a good guy you look like a bad guy oh we are actually like taking damage no, if you don't mind, I'm just going to steal it from you, okay? Fifth fragment of the amulet. Oh, there's something in from that, like, totem right there. You got to be careful here. I'm going to go take the totem. Please don't hurt me. Break it. Break it. Oh, it's like, there's like a gold sign right next. Oh, my God. We're about to be attacked by a cactus worm. Look at that. All right, the goal is to get past this as fast as we can before this uh, desert stuff kills us. And also get out of here before we get attacked by these tribals. All right, we are going through this. I have God mode enabled so we can actually see some things. What is this? What the heck? That opens like a secret chest down there. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Don't want to explore too much of this because, you know, if I do play through it, I do want to see some of it for myself. And I'm assuming, yeah, there's more fragments. So we're trying to make an amulet here or something. Whatever. We got past the desert. I could turn off God mode. Look at this little camp we got here. Nice. Nice little camp. Oh, I still got this wand out. Uh, when's if I break one of these? Okay. You don't get a tent back. I honestly expected to get one back. Watch the moves. Get through the slimes with the moves. But yeah, nighttime is starting to come. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen at nighttime. Aluminum ore. What is this from? It's also from Bismuth. Okay, it might get extremely dark here. We are in a corruption and it's nighttime. And the, corrup the corruption naturally just makes the world darker. And on top of that, nighttime obviously makes the world darker. But, you know, I have faith. Uh-oh, we missed the jump. <laughs> okay my faith has gone down immediately i thought i was gonna make that jump it's all good it's all good i'll find a way out of here it's either i'm gonna die and that's our way out of here or i'm gonna live and that's our way out of here okay we got these throwing knives though these poison ones which are not bad at all we just gotta be very careful i have no idea if this is how it's gonna be like in actual master mode where if we get hit once we straight up die but uh we'll see i'm surprised that thorn bush didn't kill me but yeah let's keep on going to the left we got a little desert storm going on this is terrible if we get hit by anything here i 100 percent think we're gonna we're gonna die but I'll, I'll try my best i'm trying to hold out a torch too so we can actually see what's going on because it's a little dark just just a little bit it, it is nighttime oh that's not good do any of these have knockback okay the poison ones have knockback so we'll use that to our advantage and can i make this jump can you guys see? That's the real question. I'm temp tempted to turn on the, the brightness thing, but I believe we can make it. Oh my God, it's so dark. Is there another corruption coming up? There is another corruption coming up. God damn. This is a medium world. How many are there? Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we're good. I can make the jump. Come on. I can make that jump. I know I could. Do I have a potion or something? I mean, it's not going to matter. Hold up. No. Nope. I tried to put a block there so he would bounce off of it. So I went ahead and I triggered an event here, a weather event. And as you can see, this is the ash fall and there's a bunch of ash type enemies, you know, ash strider. I don't know what the other one is. Rider, spawn rider. Yeah, I thought his name would be like ash rider, but I guess spawn rider works too. But as we can hear, this music is bumping. You know, let's go ahead and check out some of the mounts. We got these apples here that spawn in the horse mounts, which are very, very cool. I kind of wish there was a saddle on the horses. I don't know. Maybe Maybe some of these upgraded ones there are saddles on them oh yeah this one has armor oh my god this one is fast we got a reinforced green apple which is his tail and his armor he's got a little green on it we got mounts like this fiery souls beautiful i can feel like iron man now we got things like this bulldozer that i added in obviously the bulldozer used to take down some terrain but when you go off of a non-flat surface you know you may or may not get knocked out of it but this thing is very useful for reconstruction as we can see we got things like this which is straight up like a chariot for us to ride in and uh, you know might as well ride in this while i show off some of the bosses added in you know we got a boss like this the rhino orc which i believe is an event boss from bismuth very very cool looking boss look at him he's just kind of he's just kind of hammering stuff and the screen shakes every time he moves yo the bismuth mod the mod is fire plain and simple you know we got a boss like this the queen jellyfish from the thorium mod a very very cool boss to fight we got another boss here from the bismuth mod i believe the minotaur very cool looking you know there's just a bunch of more bosses in this mod pack there could even be more you could add even more content mods you know this mod pack is to whatever you're choosing just like any mod pack that you create yourself but yeah that's gonna 
gonna be all there is to this video a very very nice mod pack i created in just a span of a couple minutes you know with the knowledge of mods that i have but you know there's tons of more mods to get added in there's tons of more mods on the mod browser shout out to all the mod devs that made these mods and hopefully we get a 1.4 release date or some sort of news some sort of transparency i don't know relogic doesn't like to tell us anything but hopefully that changes soon i don't know you no know, by them not giving us a spoiler last month it's kind of suspicious the only thing is we gotta wait until the 20th of every month to get a spoiler which is kind of upsetting but let's hope it comes out soon